Go. Dan Jarvis, uh, out in Harlow this morning, before we start to discuss about therapy, anything come up in particular? Well, a lot of people are concerned about the NHS and we had some very good conversations with people about how we would do things differently if we've got a Labour government in May of 2015. Still some people yet to make up their mind and that's why it's really important for us to be out on the doorstep. That's why I'm here in Thurrock with Polly Billington, our excellent candidate, to have those kind of really important conversations to inform the decisions and the choices people will make in the general election in May. When anybody from Labour starts talking about the NHS, and yes, you were, you were like uh, 400 yards from a hospital that is deep in crisis and has yeah. you know, patients in, in storerooms. Um, yeah. However, does the crisis, is there a part of the crisis that lays up the plans about PFI, which is for your time as an MP, but nevertheless is still relevant, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think if you go back to when Labour was in office at the end of our time in government in 2010, we had record high levels of satisfaction with the NHS. We, we are now embarking on a period where we've got people who are intent in the car parking outside some hospitals. So this is a very diff difficult and challenging time for the NHS. It's an issue on which most of the people that I've been talking to in Thurrock here today trust us, trust Labour, to manage the very different challenges that the NHS faces. But I mean, that's just one of a number of issues. And that's why I'm out with Polly. And that's why we're talking to the public. That's why we're having these important conversations. Because people do face a profound choice in May, whether David Cameron or Ed Miliband is the, is the Prime Minister. And I think you know, the country will be in a very different place in 2010 if, if David Cameron wins. And that's why I'm here campaigning with Polly to make sure that she's the Labour MP in May. Here, we're here in a unitary borough which faces £37 million pounds worth of cuts over three years. If you get in in something like 14 weeks' time, that's not going to change, is it? You're going to still have some very, very cha big challenges to, to make. Well, of course, I hope that we've got Labour government in 2015, but absolutely, yes, a uh, future Labour government will have to make some very different choices. But I believe strongly it's possible to make those choices in a fairer way. But in order to form, inform those decisions we make, we've got to talk to the public. We've got to understand their priorities so that we can represent them in Parliament. That's what Polly's doing here. Thorough. I think she'd be an excellent MP. And, you know, that's what people are telling me on the doorstep. They want someone like her who's going to listen to what they've got to say and then represent their views in Parliament. And finally, at the end of your, your road trip, are you, are you going to report back? How, how do you put this in as a cohesive piece? Yeah, well, I think it, as politicians, it's so important that we get out and meet the public and have these kind of conversations. I'm going to go to every single corner of England over the next nine days lots of different conversations and then you know I'll, I'll feedback to Ed Miliband and to our party we still haven't yet burned up our manifesto there's still some ideas that we're thinking about but the, you know, the, the, the public are the people who've got lots of really interesting ideas and things that we need to be listening to and that's what I'm doing here in Thurrock and that's what we'll be doing for the next nine days around the country. Dan Java, thank you very much.